Live from New York. It's a show that's congratulating the Los Angeles Dodgers, Mookie Betts, Dave Roberts, and Chris Broussard, who got another championship call right. It's what I It's do. about... It's what I Hold do. on. It's his... He's got it's one in a row. It's what I do. He's one what, in a row. One in a row. But going back a few years, he's basically <laughs> nailed everything. <laughs> I mean, talking, pretty much. Miles, I like that. I it's had the one Nuggets, in a other row. than that, and the Celtics. Other than that, yeah, the Celtics a couple years ago when Nick sw- switched yep. in you the You had mids, the Chiefs. Or the Warriors. But we all had the, the Chiefs, Celtics. really. When Nick switched who mid did you finals, have? Who did you have for the NBA this year again? Oh, I don't even remember. I don't remember. I think you got it right. We're starting with the Dodgers <laughs> win. <laughs> You're a bad guy. <laughs> Walker Bueller <laughs> closed out the Yankees. That was what I was asking Dave Roberts about. If it gets ahead, are you going to do anything special? Bring Wilds is so self I'm just saying about that, the dumb question. No, but Walker, Dave Roberts I know, but he's like, ago. I would respect the game. Then Walker Bueller <laughs> comes in the game. That's not what you were asking him. That's, I know. You said if the game gets away from you, you're going to do anything cool. Not if it's a one run game in the ninth right. inning, you're going to use your best pitcher. <laughs> That's what I meant to ask. <laughs> okay, well, that would have been a better question. Freddie Freeman wins MVP as the Dodgers celebrate their eighth title in franchise history in the Bronx. Bill Plaschke writing in the LA Times, the title of greatest Los Angeles Dodgers team and greatest Dodgers postseason thus cemented. Their two championships and four pennants in the last eight years also established them as the greatest of Dodgers dynasties. Brew, did we just watch a dynasty? Look, I don't want to take anything away from the Dodgers. Don't want to rain on their parade. They should be celebrated today, and they've had a great season. And this kind of solidifies their run, even though with 12 straight years in the playoffs, 11 winning your division, you'd like more than two championships. But this is, they were a legitimately great team for this past decade or so. However, I'm not going to go dynasty yet. And I do understand baseball dynasties are different. Like, because, especially with free agency, and obviously they have that in the other sports, but it's just harder to stack up championships in baseball than it is in other sports. And one at least singular now. player can't. It, it, right, you can hit 500. Th- yeah. And if you don't have the pitching, you might right. not even make the playoffs. It's not like so, having a football quarterback right. or an NBA superstar. Totally different. Yeah. And we haven't had a repeat champion in baseball since the Yankees in 98, 99, and 2000. So it is uh, – dynasties, I think, we measure a little differently. Still, I will not call this a dynasty yet. Two championships in the last five years. Those were the only times they actually even made it to the World Series in the last five years. The only, I think, great dynasty in baseball that is two championships is the Reds in the 70s, but they won back-to-back, 75 and 76. Then right before that, the uh, Oakland A's won three, but it was three straight. Mm -hmm. So I think if they win it, like, they either have to go two straight to be a dynasty or, you know, win three or four in a t- eight or ten year span. So I think they're on their way, Nick, because mm-hmm. they're stacked and yep. ready to go for the future, but not yet. Yeah, so the and, and I think we will before we move on to the Yankees, celebrate what they accomplished and the people and the the players that I think earned I don't want to say earned it, but gained the most and were kind of the yep. the, the cornerstones of this. But I echo what Bruce said. I think right now they're not yet definitively the team of the deck of the last ten years. They, it's right. They are. They have yeah. now, in my opinion, drawn even. We can show it to you. They have drawn dead even with the Astros. Yeah. And I listen. Regular season, they've been a little better than the Astros. The Astros, a touch better in the postseason, but not really a difference. The difference is they played in the World Series and the Astros beat them. And so, yeah, the, yeah and so, I feel like this team is so. Oh, I think so. But so the that's Astros special. have been really it, good but, in the play, you know. Correct. I mean, but you look at years. that. I mean, those are the the yeah. two defining teams of the last decade. Dave Roberts took over a year into that run. But you guys follow. But I do think the Astros dealt with injuries this year. I still think the Dodgers are better positioned than anybody oh. moving forward. And so I think. They are on the brink of a dynastic run. They're not yet on the dynastic run. But I also think, like, to me, the four stars of this series or of this season are the guys we should spend some time on. Like, Shohei, he came, he saw, he conquered. Like, even though he wasn't great in the World Series, I really don't care. Like, they They got got there. And where he was at his best in this postseason 
was the only series they were ever in jeopardy. Yeah. The NLDS in round, either their first round where they goes five, they win in five, and they faced the, the only time they even came yeah. close to facing elimination. He was excellent in that series. Mookie Betts is just flatly, and I know you're going to talk about it more, yeah, one good. of the best winners and most clutch players in all of baseball. Yeah, still you, good. You said it the other day, Brew, Could have seen that, that if the Dodgers win, Dave Roberts is a Hall of Famer. That's now done, and we the I think we can show you the the Dave Roberts numbers and what he, I mean, that's it's pretty, pretty good. good. It's pretty good. And then there's of course Freddie Freeman, who this is now cementing him yep. as I think now a first ballot Hall of Famer, and that's hard in baseball. But I would agree with couple you. championships, yep. a World Series, no one will ever forget came within one of the best World Series performances ever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't go back to, you know, look at everything, oh, but yeah, it's came hard within to six be inches of was. proving Brew wrong because he almost hit another home run. <laughs> he did. I, 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 I thought yeah. that would, man. Yeah. And so, like, that to me is that, so no, they're not yet a dynasty, but I agree. I'll, I'll take Plasky's word that it's the best Dodgers team ever because I know he'll know better than me, but it was certainly start to finish the best team in baseball this year, and I will admit, I felt a little dumb in this series being like, why didn't I pick them? Like, yeah. they, I mean, they could just because they were, and I think the Yankees just are the, excellent. But the, I don't think I, just to defend your take, they were so banged up. On pitching. It's like, hey, yeah. every third game, yeah. we're just going to roll out a <laughs> bunch <laughs> of guys. Yeah. It's like, really? Yeah, a bunch of guys. Like, right. your best bunch of guys? Not necessarily. Right. <laughs> because no, we want right. to keep you're the other guys right. if we have to roll out another bunch of guys. So Which I, is I a think credit that's to, to Dave fair. Roberts. But I, I had a hard time narratively with this. So I, I was playing with, you know, how many guys were injured and the fact that Dave Roberts had to, you know, paste it all yeah. together. But at the same time, with the payroll and yeah, they just weren't an the underdog. Roster. But I mean, Dave they Roberts had an underdog show. feel. They, every, but I'm like, oh, like the, the, but they weren't. I know, but, but it people felt like have that. been picking against them because they haven't gotten it done. They've been great in the regular season for 12 years and have failed 10 of those years to get it done. So I think a lot of people just felt like it'd be the same thing. Quickly on the dynasty, yep. if they don't become a dynasty. It's a failure. Oh, that's With the a good way take. they're set up. I'm you don't that's think a, so? Can we that's got, a great take. No, can but we use the word disappointment, not failure? Oh, well, okay, okay, because you got one ring. You got a ring. I, that's yeah. fine. But yeah. I'm you you get what I'm saying. They Yamamoto, who was banged up, the, the great pitcher from Japan, like yeah. he's gonna do his thing, I think, going forward. Shohei is still young, Mookie's still relatively young. Like, they are set up where they should win more championships. I know the media ombudsman is coming up in the middle of the bud list, yeah. whether I like it or not. About an hour from now. These are some of your best takes. The ones he throws Thank in you, at the wow. end? The, you throw it in at the end, and you, you take a team's potential. It's very similar to, like, the Wemby, better be better than Akeem Olajuwon, yeah. or he's a failure. Well, he had six it's points just, last night. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wemby, no, it, pick it up. <laughs> pick it no, up, it's bro. True. It's like they're, they're stacked. They're ready to go. The Yankees are just already nervous about losing Soto. Where like, hey, Otani's injured now, but he's going to be back. They might even go for Soto. That's amazing. Um, all right, so let's turn to the Yankees. They lost this game in one of the worst fifth innings in baseball history, when three errors led to five unearned runs. Judge misplays a fly ball. Volpe dirts and the this ball. Play. Mookie hits a ground ball to Rizzo. Cole doesn't cover. Cole's like, I thought you were going to do it. And then once he did that, I'm like, buddy, get locked in. Uh, Dodgers end up tying the game. But the momentum in the series goes to L.A. Okay, bro. Did the Yankees blow it? Well, look, I agree with everything A-Rod said. And, and blow it is a weird way to use it just because I think we all feel like they would have – the Dodgers were going to win the series anyway. Now, I will say this. When, they, when the Yankees went up 5-0 – and Judge was cooking. He hits the home run. Now, and, and he there steals is a part the of me that, home and the great, yeah, great catch on Freeman's that probably would have like, hit the uh -oh. wall. Looks like yeah. it might have been yeah. a double or something. But yeah, I'm thinking, okay, the Dodgers still are in great shape. But if it gets back to LA, they gonna have to deal. Like Judge is unleashed now. So now you got to beat the Yankees totally at their best with their best player in, doing this in thing. In Vegas, they were the Yankees started the game. You bet 100 bucks on the Yankees to win the World Series, you win $750. After Judge stole that Freeman, yep. a double or a home run, whatever, it was down to bet 100 
win three hundred dollars. Mm. So like they were, they, they Vegas was saying like, uh -oh. oh, they, there's a real we're chance there's a here. Chance. Exactly right. So <laughs> go ahead. But I hate that. the Yankees they choked. Choked. They choked because they were making mistakes. You really and I get it. And A Rod said it. They are a bad fundamental baseball team, yep. and they've kind of been that for several years. They've, they've overcompensated for their lack of fundamentals with the home runs, all right? And you look at their lineup, it's a bunch of home run hitters. But they did things you really should never see in a major league baseball game, let, especially the World Series. Judges drop. We'll get more to judge later, but, I mean, that's just – I don't even know. I, I mean, it looked to me, showing it close up, that he looked, start looking at the runners or the runner well, maybe that's instead. Stuff. That's but basic. yeah, I mean, come on, you just can't do that. That's his first error of the season, mm -hmm. so that's something that's out of the ordinary. And then you got to play at third base with Anthony Volpe. Volpe was a Gold Glover last year, Gold Glove shortstop, and he short hops that, and then Jazz can't handle it. That's Can we stay should, on that for just one second? Yeah, and Kiki was right there, so great running by him to kind of get in the way, but still. He you ran like he was going to round third, which is legal because you're allowed to round third, but he obviously was never rounding yep. third. He did it, to, I think, Smart yeah, smartly yeah. to make the throwing window shorter, smaller. Go ahead. And, well, and, and then Cole, look, he got out of it. It looked like he was going to get out of it with the two uh, strikeouts, and then this play – Wilds, I think you coach T-ball or something. Like, your pitchers know to cover first base. I and I get he he stuttered. You know, he, he stalled. He, they, they got confused. But that just can't happen. Exactly. And you can say Rizzo should have charged the ball. He's talking about, well, the spin made me back. It may, the bottom line is this cannot happen. You've seen balls with crazy spin on them before. I'm sure the Yankees hit some balls with crazy spin throughout the series. And the Dodgers handled it. This was just emblematic of what they've been. But again, these were incredible. And then, finally, the catcher's interference. Ah. Uh, it it was legitimately catcher's interference, it was. too. And then to, cut, to cap it off, and I know it's not the worst thing it happens, but a balk in the ninth inning just to wrap a bow around yeah. the, the Yankees just making all these mistakes. Great. So I, had, I was trying to take a, a glass half, a Dodgers glass half full version of the errors and if I was to power rank sports where speed is the most important track number one <laughs> <laughs> football basketball baseball it's like uh, speed yeah important in baseball but really you know it's more power like, yeah. not really like Kike Hernandez forced Volpe to rush that throw Agreed. and if you had someone else there besides Mookie who takes off like maybe safe Cole kind of Cole sees it he doesn't know but that mm -hmm. opens the whole game up. If Mookie Betts was not Mookie Betts, if Mookie Betts was just a regular guy with regular speed, Rizzo gets there and it saves five runs. So that's what I mean. That's so what I love. So you're trying about. to you're not blaming that on the Yankees. I'm blaming it on the Yankees. But just like speed in all sports, yeah, speed, speed up kills. a little well, bit. Speed mistakes kills. start to I, happen. Can I? Let me add your Mookie point before I talk about this. It's not just that he's fast. It's that he didn't concede the. That's exactly right. It, it, it's, he's got it, heart. It, right. It's that, it, it, that he's flying. It, he's, he's fast, and it's two outs of a Major League Baseball player. Where, you know what I mean? It's not like we're the ones Great facing point. elimination. I hit a relative, not even that hard of a hit ground no. ball. Just a normal ground ball to the first to first base, and I'm flying. Yeah. yeah. I, I won I, the I, World I, Series I, because right. of it. Correct. That's the – that's the to, listen, Mookie hit the sacrifice that – the, yeah. You would think he runs. hit it out. Yeah. You would yeah. think he hit a grand slam. Yeah. He's like, yes. Yeah. Exactly. So the you obviously have been a Mookie fan forever, and it's kind of been a running gag on the show that you're still sad the Red Sox don't have him. Yeah, not a gag. I, That's true. <laughs> I understand. I obviously knew Mookie Betts was awesome, but I'm not watching you know nine innings of Dodger games or Red Sox games during the regular season. Focused in. Right. We're at the stadium. We're watching the game. Man, he is locked in yeah. at all times. And so that that part of it, they deserve credit for. But this was an all-time gag job. It's the third biggest blown lead, fourth biggest blown lead in World Series history. It's the third most unearned runs ever given up in an inning in World Series history. You did it while facing elimination. And it is the judge and Volpe mistakes 
are wiped away clean yep. if that last one doesn't happen. Yep. It's bases loaded, no one out. And Garrett Cole goes strike out of Lux, strike out of Otani, ground ball first base, Mookie Betts. That you're is, you're right. I was sitting next to Danny from Breakfast Ball, and he's a huge baseball guy coming from Chicago. He said to me when Mookie took the plate, he was like, if Cole gets out of this here, it's all-time ace stuff. Yeah. Bases loaded, nobody out. But that here's the other piece of it where it's like the Yankees just not being as buttoned up as they should be. We're all focused on that and not so focused on game could have been 9 nothing. It Like, bottom of the second, Jazz leaves the bases loaded, yeah. up 4 nothing. Bottom of the fourth, Jazz strikes out with two on, up 5 nothing. Bottom of the fifth, j- uh, just right after this all happened, Glaber leaves the bases loaded. Like, the Yankees had opportunities to make it to where you had more of a margin yep. of error, and they didn't. And it really, I don't know, I don't know if that's more on Cole or on Rizzo. I, I've been trying to figure it out all morning. I can't quite determine it. Maybe it's on both of them. Right. But whatever it, it is, can't happen. it can't Either happen. Way, right. That's uh, right. Aaron Judge, strikeout city in the first few games, came alive late with a home run last night, made a spectacular catch before, as we talked about, his first error of the year, and it proved disastrous. Games four and five, pretty good. Um, the guys in the postgame show said they saw something. Uh, will history be unkind to Aaron Judge? Well, I'll say this. I, I feel like New York really loves Aaron Judge. You know, I haven't listened and read everything, but I've read some stuff this morning in the New York papers. They don't love Aaron Boone. <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> right, right, right. And, and listening to yeah. talk radio, like, they're not destroying him like you could be. I, I don't think they're nearly as hard on him as, say, they were on Patrick Ewing for not delivering that championship for the Knicks. And I get it, Ewing came in even more ballyhooed than Judge. But I I brought up Ewing because, Nick, I kind of compared, and I think it might be remembered somewhere like Ewing's missed finger roll in the 1995 Eastern Conference second round, this game seven. Now, Jordan's out. You're thinking, okay, we can win this series, and Ewing misses that finger roll. Now, that's a tougher play than Judge had, can obviously. I, can I tell you something real quick? Just because the audience doesn't know, when I was a little boy, I was a Knicks fan. Because the first basketball game I went to was the Knicks game. This is the first time sports made me cry. So, that hand play. to God. <laughs> yes. In, ten years old, that this is the first time sports made me cry. So, thanks for showing that. <laughs> as, you, as you were. Bro. <laughs> but, no, I, I think it'll be remembered. Like, that may be the Charles Smith missing the yeah. layup against oh, the, the Bulls. Yeah. But those plays and the re now a lot of, the first thing that came to my mind was Bill Buckner with the the ball between his legs we'll show that 1986 World Series he's playing for the Red Sox oh, this goes right through that. his that that's right I, I agree and the reason I'm saying it's not Bill Buckner is because the Red Sox were up three games to two they lost the game on that play this game six on that play and then they lost the series to the Mets in seven the, the uh, Yankees last night were probably not going to win the series, so it was it's different, not quite as big as this, but somewhere in between those, so, and I think kind of remember like you. But so it's not going to be. About, are you more talking about like the specific play or the or the series in general? Well, okay, I'm talking about the play, but I'm all I'm I'm kind of talking about it all together. A, a tapestry, his wor- right? His world right now, performance. yeah, I think he's going to have to. Come back and not only win a series, but be a World Series, but be great so that's, in the so playoffs listen, to that's erase the, this. Because right now it's going to be viewed as a postseason it, it, choke. Listen, I, I can we call A-Rod a friend? I think we can call A-Rod yeah, friend a friend. Of Definitely yeah. friend of the show. I think Absolutely. friend of ours personally. Wants to be our Timberwolves correspondent. I don't know how much <laughs> of a budget we have for it. Hopefully it'll take a good deal. Um, Alex Rodriguez, as a New York Yankee, from the time the Yankees went up 3-0 on the Red Sox in 04 until the start of the 09 playoffs, he played 17 games. His teams were 4-13. and His splits were 148, 316 with a 260 slugging percentage, mm. 9 hits, and 19 Ks. Over a five-year, 17-game postseason stretch. And then in 2009, he mashed and they won a World Series, and now he's on all the lists. When we talk about the 10 greatest Yankees ever, could Judge get on there? We talk about his, you know, him, A-Rod, whatever it is. Yep. It, this is awful for Aaron, 
but it can get fixed. That is, you know what I mean? Right now, right now, he's Lamar. And just like Lamar... You don't think it's he, worse than Lamar? Well, I don't know. I, but we're, the, 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 we're not, My point is, but just like Lamar, you've got a decade to one time not be that, and then you're never that again. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so that's... But until, especially as a Yankee, until it happens where there's a postseason run, he doesn't have to be perfect, but he's good and they win, yep. this follows. Every postseason, the story's yes. going to be... Can they judge? Do can judge yes. play in the playoffs? Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.